Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And a lot of people that try the trick for the update say it doesn't work. And it doesn't work if it doesn't work on you. It's because you still don't have a minimum requirement. That is for unsupported software. Remember, unsupported software, it's not everything. It's a minimum requirement also. The minimum requirement for unsupported hardware when you want to install Windows 11 is TPM 1.2 needs to be enabled. No TPM at all, you're not going through. Then the other uh, thing is you need secure boot. You can't go um, install Windows 11 without it. And secure boot, a lot of people are like, well, I don't have secure boot, but I have this PC or that PC. All PCs made in the last probably seven years or eight years at least all are capable of secure boot. It's something that is embedded within the UEFI firmware. It changes the way the computer is booting. It's a different format for um, booting up. So to have secure boot, you have to enable it. And in some cases, maybe you have a Windows 10 or Windows 8. I've seen some people with Windows 8 saying, well, I have, you know, those systems, but I don't have secure boot. It is possible that Windows 10, Windows 8 was installed without secure boot. It works. It's just that secure boot is a requirement on Windows 11. So that means you'll have to do a clean install while secure boot is now enabled. It's really, really different. So um, for those that go and say, well, you know, I did the hack in the registry and I used the tools of the Microsoft download page, it still doesn't work. You don't have that minimum requirement because it's not everything. It's, you know, a PC from 2008 won't run it uh, because it doesn't have the minimum requirement. Once again, TPM 1.2 minimum, uh, secure boot enabled, and four gigabytes of RAM at least. And of course, a 64-bit CPU, dual core or better, that uh, will run Windows 11 since it's 64-bit operating system. So this is very important. As for secure boot, pretty much everybody that says, well, I don't have secure boot. Yes, you do. You just need to enable it. And that is something that you do in the BIOS of your computer. But be warned, when you turn on secure boot, your actual system that you have right now will not boot anymore. It is not going to work because it's a very different format. It's very important to know that. For the rest, once again, I will just say it, okay, maybe for fun on a unsupported machine that you don't really use that, you know, you just want to play around with Windows 11. But anybody that doesn't have the minimum requirement, honestly, should stay away from Windows 11 at all. And that's it. For those that are on Windows 11 um, that or want to wonder if they should go to Windows 11, it's a very simple answer. When you aren't sure if you should go to something, you already answered the question. You shouldn't. It's very simple. When you are not sure about something, you don't do it. That's all. On PCs, it's as simple as that. Uh, for stability, for me, it works fine. It's as fast, if not faster, than Windows 10. Those that have issues with speed your computer drivers probably have something to play with that because honestly it's way faster and uh, really really good in its stability in general but you might have a pc that the drivers are not up to date for windows 11 they're not ready and in general people with drivers that are older probably don't see it anyways in their updates right now so um, you know the roll-on is continuing for now there's one issue that some people have encountered is at 71% there's an error message in the install. Well, that install error at 71% um, seems to be mostly for people that are developers and that actually have um, some developer packages installed. So you got to remove the packages and you got to stop developer mode to uh, continue. It seems that for those people, there's a, a little bug, but for now, I don't really hear a lot of pro install problems for most people. 
So um, we'll, of course, continue observing the situation uh, for that. So these are some of the questions and answers that I have right now for the install of Windows 11. Remember, on supported hardware, it should take anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour to a couple of hours, depending on how old your PC is, with the minimum requirements enabled, of course. So uh, just remember that it's a big ins install of Windows. It's like a big feature update that Windows 10 would have, technically. And last but not least, for those asking for Windows 10 21 H2, I've seen a few posts of people saying, well, that that isn't a thing. Yes, it is. The, the Windows 10 21 H2 is being tested and released preview right now. And that should be a thing within the next couple of weeks. Uh, maybe it'll match with Patch Tuesday next week. And by the way, Windows 11 should have its first Patch Tuesday updates next week because it's now supported. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.